What's up you guys? I feel like what I'm about to say is probably at this point just going to become part of my greeting because I say it so often, but it has been a very long time. I think this is actually the longest time that it's been. It's been almost five months since I've posted a video. And honestly, it's taken me this long because I chicken out all the time because I don't know how to say it or rather I feel like there's too much to say and I don't want to like just blab. I did actually film it um, a couple months ago. That was going to be like my comeback, but um, yeah, I talk too long like I am now. I just wanted to basically make an update video where I've been, what's happening, what's going to happen moving forward. So a lot of things has happened to me since not just the last video was made, but actually all of all of last year was kind of a shit show and you probably saw that from me. Things were starting to slow down and decline and Daisy is getting in her beanbag right now. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna wait for her to adjust. You hear like the ruffling over there. I have not been active, as active on YouTube and then recently not at all because I have not been doing very well mentally. I've been having, or I was having some issues and I thought that it would be a good idea for me to slow down. I was going very ham. I worked to get a following for a very long time. Um, I actually started trying to pursue being online as a job back in 2017. So every weekend I would be making content. It was on Instagram back then. And then, you know, it progressed to YouTube and it got to the point where I was making one video every week, which doesn't sound like a lot for everybody, but I was working at the same time and I had a lot of things going on moving into this house building this house and those there was a lot going on it was quite a lot for me uh, and that's why things started to deteriorate I started to de deteriorate and then also in January I kind of kept it on the low but I got COVID so I had COVID for all of January of 2021. My husband had it too. We both had it. Um, I dealt with it a lot worse than he did. I did have like the breathing was very tough. It's it's the strangest illness. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know how much I'm allowed to say on YouTube but everyone else's experience is different but um, it really is very different to any regular cold or flu or anything like that. It feels really bad. <laughs> And this is a little unrelated, although maybe not, but I actually have losting symptoms from having COVID. I didn't actually have it at the time. When I had COVID, I lost my taste after like three days. Um, just didn't taste anything really. And I didn't mind that and I wasn't scared and I kind of assumed that it would come back and it did for about two or three weeks, I would say I got my taste back. And then um, all of a sudden things started to taste funny and by funny i mean bad i feel like this is another thing i've been meaning to address for like the years that i've been on youtube because people do bring up the very handy advice that you know i should see a doctor about my hair and all that but i am um an immigrant to this country america is very different as far as health and stuff um and i don't have health insurance so i can't just like go to the doctor whenever i want in fact i i don't ever um not by choice i would love to i just i can't afford it so yeah, that's that's why I'm not able to do it for my hair, but I just had to take a best guess at why things are tasting so bad for me now. Um, and I found a group of people online that are basically saying it's parosmia. So I'm just mentioning it now because I was really confused at what was happening and it's really hard to find information on it. So maybe this can help one of you if you have had COVID, but if you've had, had it and now like things taste and smell bad to you, you, you may want to look into par parosmia. Um, and that's probably what it is. I don't know if it's gonna go away. It's it's honestly, in my opinion, worse than actually losing my taste and smell. Obviously, I don't want that to happen either, but this is just very different. It's like, you know how there's like a Starbucks in Target or, you know, Starbucks basically anywhere, a coffee store, a Dunkin' or anything like that? Coffee smells like ass. It literally, it's not just like an uncomfortable smell. It's like, smells are so strong and so bad that shouldn't be that it will make me physically nauseous um i'm a vegetarian now because i can't eat meat anymore garlic onion bell peppers all of my favorite things are the worst entire taste smells in the world um when i make 
my husband dinner and it has garlic in it, I have to leave the room and like just try and hold my breath when I'm around it. Um, so it's quite extreme. It's pretty bad. Uh, it's probably not relevant to why I've been away on YouTube, but it does help for some context of this video. Another reason that I wasn't feeling so good last year was because, and I feel like you guys probably saw this, was because I did, I did gain a lot of weight. Um, that's not really why I was in a bad place mentally, it's more like I got bigger, or I, I wasn't taking care of myself because I was in a bad place. Um, I really just didn't care. There was just a lot going on and I was gaining a lot of weight. I got to the biggest that I ever was. Um, you can't really see it now because I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt, but I have actually pulled it together quite well. I've lost over 20 pounds since the end of Jan- between the end of January and now I've lost a little over 20 pounds. I don't plan on losing anymore. I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Probably gonna like tone up in a little bit. Yeah, that was a reason and I felt- I, I, I have to say this, it's been like weighing on me. I felt like such a jackass because that video a couple of videos ago, two or three videos ago, um, about being confident, that video I can't even watch anymore because the way that I looked in it was mortifying to me and I just can't watch it because it's it's hard. It's not that I got bigger, it's hard to see why I let myself go like that. Like just to see that I'd, I'd let it get that out of hand and I wasn't caring. That's how it directly related to me not making videos anymore because a lot of these videos are centered around me being a brand and a personality and my personality, I'm not pretending, but you know, it's, it's about me. And if I don't feel good and I'm letting myself go and I'm not caring about me, I don't really want to put myself out there to other people when, I mean, I'm not proud of me. It's not, I shouldn't, I don't know, it's like I shouldn't be showing off something that I'm not even proud of, I guess. And that's the way the videos were getting. I was having a hard time editing them because it takes me like four hours. When I used to have my old computer, it used to take me like two days to edit a video because it was so slow. And it's very hard to like go back and chop things up and edit and stare at yourself for that long and just it, it makes you more of it's like yes there were things wrong but also like I, I started getting like unrealistic expectations of myself and what I was supposed to look like and you know it started feeling more uncomfortable filming I felt like I, maybe I needed to write things down I felt like the backgrounds need to be different and basically I was just making up a bunch of like things that I thought had to change before I could do anything and I, I mean that that was half true with like taking care of myself but not necessarily like caring about what I say or how I say it. I really don't care about that. I could never do this if it was scripted because that physically makes me uncomfortable. Um, I'm not very good at being fake at all. It makes me feel dirty to say anything that's not what I think or the truth. I I'm not going to talk too much more about it. That's basically just what happened. But also with the parosmia so that I it's very hard for me to eat things now or find things that I can eat. I do just try and find what I can and sometimes have to put up with it just for like nutritional reasons but i guess the big update that most of you care about is my hair um i don't know if it's showing too much now um but it actually looks like a little better today but it has gotten dramatically worse it's probably worse than when i made that first video at any given time if i do that like clumps of hair come out I'm noticing loose hair everywhere when i style my hair it it's like the, the floor is coated washing my hair in the shower it's like chunks and chunks i'm actually a little afraid to wash my hair now because that's how much hair comes out like it is it's really coming out in chunks now um i haven't been using um, the spray or anything. I used it one time when I went to a function about like a week ago, but I haven't used it like in the past year and a half besides that. I don't leave the house, so I don't feel the need to put like extra product on my head. No reason. The reason that I'm not freaking out too much I mean, it makes me a little sad, but I'm not freaking out about it because I know the reason for it. It's justified for anybody who's lost as much weight as I have um, for this to happen. So I understand that, you know, I, I lost kind of a lot of weight I would consider in a sort of short amount of time, but also my eating and not being able to eat certain things, especially like cutting meat out and you know, all of my favorite vegetables and stuff has definitely impacted my health. That's why even though my hair is getting really, really bad right now, I don't feel comfortable making videos, trying to make it better with like the Bondi Boost or Vegamore. Or, you know, I still use Olaplex and it was helping maintain it, but, and I've, I've 
hope that people have known this the entire time that I'm making these videos, that there, there is only so much that these products can do. They're meant to help hair loss that has been damaged from like other products or like heat styling. But if you have vitamin deficiencies, if you have thyroid problems, if you have anything that's like happening inside, uh, there is very little that a shampoo or conditioner or an oil is going to do for you. It will make your hair shinier. The hair that you have will probably look a little like nicer, but it's not going to magically grow hair out of your head. Not if, you know, you've got, you've got body issues. The good news is, is that I'm hopefully planning on getting health insurance um, at the end of this year. I, I feel like I, I should be in a position where I can do that. Um, I want to work really hard on YouTube because this is how I make a living these days. So it has impacted me not being able to make videos but it was a cost that I was willing to make because I really I, I needed a break I needed to not be stressed about how I look and how I say things and doing things it's just it was a lot of focus on me but in like the wrong way basically I was looking out for me so that I could be looking out for you making these videos because I do like making these videos but I needed to slow down and like focus on me but I am feeling much better now that's why you're seeing me today so yeah I do have other videos planned you will see another one where I'm wearing this outfit and this janky eyeliner that I just filmed before um I am feeling a lot better don't worry I know I've, I've had a lot of messages and stuff from people and it's really sweet and I really appreciate everybody sticking around for as long as you have and all the new people um we're almost at I think 65,000 now and I don't want to get ahead of myself but I, I had a goal last year that kind of went to shit I mean COVID happened and everything happened with me and it was a rough time for everybody. Yeah, I'm hoping to hit some milestones this year. It's not too late. I don't feel like I still got six, six months to go and I think that we can do some pretty cool stuff this year. I am feeling in a spot where I feel pretty good about it and I really do have the best following in you guys because you guys really have not abandoned me or made me feel any kind of way. I'm really shit at replying on Instagram. I get very overwhelmed with like using my phone at all so I am trying to work on that. I do try and read them. Even comments here. I'm actually a little better on YouTube with the comments than Instagram. Basically, I just wanted to make this video to like fill you guys in, let you guys know what's been going on. I didn't want to just like come back and act like that past five months of absence didn't happen. That seems a little weird. Also, I feel like a lot of you guys have found strength in me being vulnerable, I guess, on the internet. Um, there's a lot of things that people are afraid to talk about for whatever reason, but I'm not ashamed of feeling sad. I did feel sad. I worked on it and I feel better now. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will definitely, especially for this video, I am going to try and really stay on top of the comments. Do a love letter, be pen pals. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I just it's been a long time. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to be back here with you guys. That's all I had to say. I've been putting out this video for so long, so I was like building it up to try and be like this thing, and it, it shouldn't have been. It was really this easy, and I've been putting it off for like months. My husband will be proud of me. I am too. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I love you guys. Bye.